Five. A Massachusetts state representative is accused of stealing tens of thousands of dollars in campaign it? funds for personal expenses. Federal authorities say David Nangle used that money to pay off gambling debts and now faces charges of wire fraud, bank fraud, making false statements to a bank, and falsifying tax returns. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is live in Boston where Nangle appeared in federal court. Mike? Lisa, the FBI says they've been investigating the representative for more than two years now and examined thousands of documents. They arrested him at his home in Lowell this morning. Then he faced a judge this afternoon here behind me in federal court. What do you want to say to your constituents? State Representative David Nangle leaves court in Boston Tuesday afternoon without commenting. Do you plan to stay in office? The Lowell Democrat pleaded not guilty to a 28-count federal indictment. If the allegations in the indictment are true, it is safe to say that Representative Nangle has violated the public trust. The former House Ethics Committee chairman is accused of wire fraud, bank fraud, and filing false tax returns dating back to 2014. U.S. Attorney Andrew Lelling says Representative Nangle used his campaign funds for personal expenses. Nangle used this money to, among other things, pay golf club dues, rent cars for travel to casinos, and to buy flowers for his girlfriend. Nangle is accused of obtaining $300,000 worth of home loans from a bank through fraud. The U.S. attorney says he also had extensive work done on his home for free from a contractor who was later awarded a bid for a state-funded project. Simply put, Representative Nangle used the power of his position on Beacon Hill to fund the lifestyle out of his reach. Nangle was first elected in 1999 and represents Lowell and parts of Chelmsford. Agents with the FBI Boston Division started investigating him in November of 2017. According to the indictment, Nangle is heavily in debt and gambles extensively at area casinos. Today's arrest should be a warning to others that corruption in any form at any level of government will not be tolerated. Nangle has to surrender his passport and is only allowed to travel to New Hampshire. He's banned from gambling while on pretrial release. Reporting live in Boston, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBC News.